call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Flute here and I'm bringing you episode 4 of Purchasing PSG. So we ended the last episode off by selling the three informs which we were trading with, which was Inform Munoz, Inform Testigan and Inform Schoener. So the only one which sold so far is Inform Munoz who sold for 12,500 coins. But we're going to make a first sign on the episode and I bought this Lovetsy in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Cheapest on the market in the formation but of course he's not going to get 9 chemistry just because left mids and right mids don't get 9 chem in 4-2-3-1. But he does get 7 chemistry on the web app. He gets 5 chemistry on console which is you know, completely wrong. There's the whole glitch with 4-3-3 on console. It's just completely broken this year chemistry but... Uh, we're going to go to the first game here. It's against this really, really strong 4-3-2-1 Serie A team. And I was like, you know, I'm playing this team in Division 3. This is the Division 3 title decider, whether I get whether I win the title or not. Uh, but we go 1-1 up in this game through Kevin Gamaro in the fourth minute. Really good start to this game. Then we whip a corner in. You know, it's an absolute scramble in the box. And then Menez uh, blasts a shot into the bottom right-hand corner, beating his keeper. And, you know, Menez is just... An absolutely incredible player. If you haven't used him, make sure to use him. Uh, he does a nice one-two with Camaro right here, and then does a ball roll to a scoop and finish off the scoring in this game. Just because this guy couldn't handle it anymore. 40th minute into this game, Jeremy Menez, you know, absolutely dominating this guy. Flew up and he decides to rage quit. So, you know, it just shows you that you can have an amazing team, but you can still be a really bad player. Uh, this guy did have his amazing team in Division 3, and he just was terrible. He probably got himself relegated or whatever. Uh, Menes picks up the man of the match, Camaro, getting one goal as well. Uh, only got a low amount of coins from that game, but that does give us the Division title, which is going to add us more coins. Record in total for that Division was 5-1-2. and two. Uh, Inform Schoener has sold. I did open a few more bronze packs, and I went out and bought PSG kits and uh, the PSG Stadium, so... You know, that was the top comment on the last video. Uh, what I did decide to do is sell on Gamero and Matuidi just because they were out of contract. So, uh, what I'm doing right here is setting the kit and the stadium to what it should be. I also went out and bought Sissoko, I think his name is, the Mali CDM. Uh, also going to set the badge right here, which I bought for 150 coins, which is a pretty sick deal. I mean, you could pay 200 coins by now but you can see right there that testian has got a 20,250 coin open bid on him why can't you just buy that buy now that i mean he's up for 20,500 coins by now and you decide to put a 20,250 coins bid on it i guess he's trying to save those 250 coins but whatever uh, so i do rebuy matuidi for 400 coins and i'm also going to be looking at re-signing gamero uh, trying to pick him up as cheap as possible i think i paid 700 coins in the end and i bought my original gamero from 900 coins I'm pretty sure about that, but I don't think I'll show you, but I also buy Sissoko, who you can see right there. I think I paid around about 2k for him. Uh, I was going to sell my Lucas as well. I had a bronze contract onto Sirigu, and then uh, Lucas going to sit out just because his fitness is pretty low. So get back everything I sold, including that Osborne, uh, Matuidi, Gamaro, Munoz, Testigan, who sold for 20,250 coins, which is really frustrating. Uh, right now, I was looking at doing some more trading, so I picked up this Inform Danilo in a 4 3 one formation. Going to sell him off for 23,500, and the same with this first Inform Guardado. Uh, pick him up for just under 20k, I'm going to sell him off for 23,500 coins. Uh, come back, everything I sold again, Guardado and Danilo both selling this time. I think Guardado sold on pretty quickly, because the cheapest buy now on the market was about 24,000, uh, 24,500 coins. So, uh, what I did was just undercut him as fast as possible, so... I think I only took around about 10 or 15 minutes to get in those trades, so to get 5k in 10-15 minutes is always nice. I'm going to go to the final game of this episode, we're playing against a 3-4-3 formation team, he's got an all BPL team, so another decent team I'm playing against, he's got Aguero, he's got Cal Walker, he's got Ashley Cole, so you know, for some reason he's playing full backs and 7 backs positions, but straight away from kickoff. Uh, Gamero plays the ball into Menez and Menez just, you know, scooping, doing pointless skills, uh, doing some fancy dribbling and beats the keeper in the second minute. So, you know, second minute into this game, already won a lot. Uh, things can only look up from here, but this guy comes back in the seventh minute, plays a lovely cross into Aguero. I'm not going to complain about it. Of course, it is a sweaty goal, but, you know, it's a, it's a decent worked goal because it's a really good cross in the end, if you think about it. Uh, but really nice pass and play, plays it into Gamero, who tries to kick... Uh, chip the keeper. Uh, Matuidi is there to poach the ball into the back of the net from CDM. Uh, Menes 
Now, Lovetsy picks up the ball here with five chemistry and gets absolutely taken out by the defender. I don't know what he was doing right there. I think that's why you shouldn't play for so centre-backs. Centre-back probably would have gone in for a better tackle there, but Alex ste steps up to take the penalty, and we're going to have Sirigu taking it. You know, this is a terrible penalty, if I'm honest. Uh, not very convincing at all, but I did just decide to smash it into the left-hand corner. Uh, here we go playing long ball tactics, play it up to Menez who does get the ball in the end and I play a nice chip through ball, you know, get my revenge back with a cross which he had early on in this game and Gamero is there to make, I think that's the second goal of this game, he's the man of the match in this game, uh, Menez gets an 8.7 as well so yeah this is going to be it for the video guys, I do hope you have enjoyed it, if you want to leave a like on this video to support the series uh, I will try and get episode 5 out for you tomorrow and yeah cheers for watching and I'll see you guys later.